A high schooler in our area recently broke a pretty off-the-wall world record. The old record was set using a slingshot. He absolutely crushed it. He puts topspin on the ball to maximize skip density. Currently, I am the world record holder with 74. And he didn't just barely beat the previous best. I've been implementing some uh, extra exercises into my weight training routine. 16 billion views. That's pretty good, I won't lie. Now he's in talks about maybe breaking it again. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. And he beat it by more than a dozen next to his technique. It's record day, folks. I'm out here at the park. This is where it's gonna happen in a few hours. I just came out here to walk around a little bit, maybe skip a couple rocks. If you haven't caught on, the record we're going for is the most number of skips on water with a Waboba ball. Currently, I am the world record holder with 74. I got 41 about two months ago, and then a few weeks later, that's when I hit it. So the goal for today is obviously 75 or more, and I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, when I hit 74 before, I was a little bit sore, to be honest. Like, my shoulders were kind of hurting, but right now I'm feeling Pretty well rested, uh, got good sleep last night. Arms feeling good, legs feeling good. Just overall feeling pretty optimistic about this record. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So real quick before the uh, countdown officially starts, I just wanted to share with y'all a quick Bible verse that the Lord's been uh, placing on my heart uh, these past couple weeks leading up to this. If you're like me, you get anxious before sports games and stuff, you know, you, you get nervous about whether or not you're gonna win or lose. And that's why this verse really stuck out to me. It's uh, Romans 14, eight. It says, if we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Obviously this isn't a life or death situation. It's just a record attempt, but the same principle still applies here. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, fail or succeed as long as the glory is going to the Lord. All right, so if, if I succeed today and I actually do break the record, praise God. And if I don't succeed, I'm still gonna praise God. That's all that matters. Uh, but yeah, that's just really been on my mind recently. I wanted to uh, share that with y'all real quick. So yeah. Just finished up lunch. So now the game plan is pretty much just to relax and uh, make sure my body's ready for the skip this evening. Just gonna get some shots up while we're out here. up finally got to the park i started warming up by playing catch just overhand with the waboba pro uh, just basic stuff and then we moved into some rock skipping uh, i was feeling pretty good because my skips were going pretty far i was getting a lot of skips on each throw but yeah after a few of those it was time to move into the actual world record attempts So fun story on this throw, I actually threw the ball way too close to the middle of the lake and thought it was gone forever, but then my absolute legend of a friend swam out to get it for me, so shout out to him, his name's Martin. And uh, Martin, if you're watching this, I owe you one. But yeah, after about 20 or so throws total, I think, uh, I finally was able to hit it, so that should be this one right about here. Okay, official ruling on the field. It's looking like we got it. Shout out to this man for being my swimmer when the ball went uh, out of reach. Most importantly, I want to thank God because uh, without him, none of this would have been possible. Of course, thanks to everybody else who showed up as well. And uh, for all you two subscribing to me as well uh, and supporting me along this way. So peace out. I'll see you in the next one.